inside this box are without question the coolest pair of boots that we have ever had on this channel because they used to belong to Lionel Messi. That's right, the record Ballon d'Or winner, possibly the GOAT, I'll let you discuss that down in the comments. I've got a pair of his boots. Now, I have to say a huge thank you to Boots Plug really early on here because without them, these boots wouldn't be in the Wizard Studio. I wouldn't be looking at them and I haven't looked at them yet. I am waiting to open this box to kind of get a genuine reaction and a genuine play-by-play -play live with you guys. I at least know that they will be a variation of these, this green speed flow. So this is a retail pair that again, Boots Plug have very kindly sent me so that I can do a comparison between what's in this box and what's in my hand. All right, let's do this. Okay, so here we go. Oh, there's, there's more packaging. There's more packaging. Oh, I can already see. You can probably see it through there. Uh, the classic kind of signs of Mateo of a messy boot. The names of his kids. You've got Tiago and Mateo and their birthdays on the corner there. Okay, ready? I don't want to... They're football boots, but I don't want to be too rough with them. Dread to think how much these are worth. Okay, so we have boot number one. Okay, you can you can immediately start feeling differences. Like I, the first thing, I literally pick them out, and the way that they feel in my hand as I lift them out. Look at the height of that toe box. Look how tall that is. Let's get the the retail in for comparison. Look how tall that is. That is enormous. My God. Okay, boot number two, and these you can see the classic Argentina flag with the Messi, uh, with the Messi's number, the Messi number. It pretty much is the Messi number on the back. Let's get that out. Again, massive, massive toe box, but maybe not as big as the right boot. Jeepers. Okay. Again, shout out to Boots Plug. I'm going to shout them out a lot, not going to lie. Go follow them on Instagram right now. Okay, so we've immediately got some really interesting elements happening here um and i'm immediately saying that these are so these aren't match worn i knew that beforehand um they definitely are messies and they're very custom towards him but i think that these are like a prototype boot that was maybe given to him to try it's using his last um and his specific requirements to a degree I think this is an early prototype of the speed flow given to Messi so that he can try it because this has a lot of his quirks and needs that we know about from previous Messi boots. We'll get into those, but it is actually missing some as well. Uh, and the, the most obvious thing, the left boot, the left boot, um, has the classic messy burrito style tongue let's just have a look at that one so messy historically is very well known he has this burrito style tongue so tongue that wraps around and tucks into the side of the boot here and um, he doesn't have a normal one piece upper now for me even this particular burrito style seems to be a little bit shallower than what i've seen him use before uh but his normal burrito style is there on this boot, it's not. This is a one piece, and this is really, really similar. In fact, it's probably identical to what you're gonna get from the retail pair. So maybe, I feel like this is probably two things. This is at our sending out messy options for the new speed flow, like here. What do you think? Try these, this is so cool because, all right, match worn boots are cool, boots he's used are cool, but this is like a deep dive into what what happens behind the scenes because i think these have been sent out for him to have a look at other options because if you think about it adidas want to get messi into a pair of speed flows that look i've said speed flow a few times haven't i these are not 
speed flows. Speed flows came before this. These are speed portals. That's what you get for just doing things on the fly and, and not prepping. Speed portals will continue. So Adidas will want Messi in a pair of speed portals that are as close to the retail version as possible just for their own branding, their own aesthetic, how it looks. So maybe they're going, hey, look, we've got this new boot. Maybe try it out in this way because this one is fairly mm, similar to the retail, whereas this one with the burrito style tongue is that little bit different. Now, let's, let's just bang out some differences. Boom, this is like, I didn't even have to look to know that this was here. So this is the Gamba Tracks outsole. Uh, this is very, very well known as the outsole that Messi loves, Messi uses, and it is phenomenal. It's such a good outsole. Now, uh, the Gamba Tracks, you could get for a little while on the Messi specific boots. It stopped with the uh, Nemesis 19 uh, that did not offer a Gamba Tracks plate. Uh, but Messi has it here on the Speed Portal. And just for comparison, uh, that's what you get on the retail version. So here, it's just that little bit more aggressive. You've got studs giving you more kind of angular side-to-side -side grip on here. More side-to-side -side traction. And then the spherical studs, spherical, circular studs in the heel and the forefoot as opposed to the more aggressive bladed style studs um yeah this is it's a gamba tracks plate that is essentially what the stud pattern is now while i'm also looking at this let's talk about something else messi does not or did not go for the carbotex inserts now obviously adidas can do a pretty good job of disguising carbotex to make it look like something else so i can't actually see a difference between the retail version and the messy version they might both have carbotex or they might both not have carbotex uh because there is a conspiracy theory and i'd back it to a degree that the early versions of the um the speed portal did not have carbotex in them um let's do a I kind of feel bad doing this, but it's got to be done. Let's do a quick test. So that is the stiffness and rigidity through the retail pair. And let's do a, let's do a messy test. Bloody hell. Christ. That's... Oh, oh my God. Well, Carbotex or not, they are... Oh my days. They are stiffened. Stiffened to the point of... I don't think I could use those. Oh my word. Like, the Speed Portal is a stiff, responsive outsole. You can see. But... <laughs> that's madness. You can barely... Wow. That's so specific. Too messy. That's crazy. Oh my god. Right, okay. What we're going to do now is we're going to take out the insole of these boots because they're not the same insoles. I can see that immediately. I'm going to have a look underneath and see if there's a difference in the... Yeah, absolutely. Okay, um, so this doesn't look to be a custom messy insole. Let's get the other one out from here. It is custom. But I don't know if it's custom messy. Maybe it is. So here we have the standard speed flow insole, which is fairly useless. Um, and it's, to be fair, it's a nice uh, synthetic material on top. Synthetic suede. This has a rougher, it's a much rougher feeling, but still very, very similar. And it's more solid. It's a more solid insole. Now, the reason that I think potentially this is not overly specific is because pro athletes tend to have custom insoles made for them, but by custom insole manufacturers or by, say, Adidas. But I'm not sure. These feel to me like they're made to fit in the boot, the custom boot, but they're not overly custom to Messi. 
Um, it does have the classic what you expect from Adidas in the Made in Germany Athlete Services tag attached to the insole there or attached to the inside of the boot. It just proves that it's a, it's a boot made by Adidas specifically for athletes. Um, it's what they put in all of their athlete boots wherever they can either stitch into the side or attached onto the insole when it's boots they can't stitch into the side of. Cool. Right. Now, the reason I took the insoles out, one part to look at the insoles, but the other was to check out the insole board. I'll try and get as good of pictures as I can of this for you. Sometimes it's very difficult to see inside boots, but it is this white material here. And that is the insole board for this particular speed flow. Now, let's get a look at the retail. Normally I have all of this planned and I've got every single little bit set up and there's no paper in anything and it's all seamless and I just edit out any mistakes. This is what happens when I do things that I'm just like, cool, this will be fun. Let's just do this as I'm thinking about it and get my initial reaction to a pair of boots. I still can't get over how stiff they are. Right, so you can see here, or I hope you can see here, that what we've got is a mesh pattern um, that's been stitched onto the outside of the boot. So it's stitched in, that's your insole board that your studs are attached to. Um, and then your Carbotex is in there. Everything's built through that. Now, the likelihood is that that maybe still exists in these boots, uh, but on top of that, you have a custom insole board uh, that is specific to Messi's requirements. Uh, I have exactly the same in this pair this is a pair of kira walsh phantom gx and you can see it's a very custom looking insole board there um, and it's just about adding some of it is padding comfort uh, but usually it's structure rigidity um so this is adding that extra <laughs> amount of stiffness that's all the way through the boots and that is uh that's the insole board uh interestingly this is so weird um, there is the Adidas little um, QR code in the bottom of there. Now that QR code, I'll scan it in a second. In fact, I'll scan it in a second. I'll put it up on screen. I guarantee you that just goes through to like a retail page for the Speedflow because that's where they always go. Just on the bottom of Messi's boots. No big deal. Looks to be identical through both boots as well. No changes right to left. Now, where there are some changes right to left, apart from obviously our tongue changes, um, are gonna be the shape. So this is clearly built on a very custom last. If you don't know, boots are built around a last, which is essentially a foot shape. You, me, your average Joes, uh, we have to deal with whatever last, uh, Nike, Adidas, etc. create for the boots. You have to put your foot in there. Um, Adidas will create a specific last around Messi's exact foot shape and how he wants his boot to fit in order to make his boots. So, first thing, we mentioned it earlier, the height on the toe box. I don't even know the best way to show this, actually. Probably do. Here we go. Right. Let's get this camera in. Come here, camera. Right. So here, you can see that the toe box is really high on this. Now this one might look like it's higher, but the only reason that it looks like it's higher on the retail version is because it has the classic uh, outsole. So it has this speed frame uh, outsole, which has this tilted up angle. So it tilts you up onto your toes and makes you feel ready. It pushes you forward. It's a whole, uh, it's one of the USPs for the speed flow. And you can see that it looks higher, but this is much lower to the ground. It's how Messi wants it with the Gamba Trax plate. Uh, but the amount of room, the amount of volume in that toe box is huge in comparison to what you're going to get over here. Let's uh, stick with this camera because you can see. So this is both Messi boots. This is right and left Messi boot. You can also see that they, they are different in themselves. There is a different amount of volume through each foot. And obviously your feet are different right to left. And this is just showing how much difference there is between Messi's feet right and left. And then if you look at the actual shape of the boot, I don't know which way around this is going to work best. See if I can show you. Let's do it this way. Yeah, there's more volume in certain areas depending on 
the boot. Now, obviously, this is going to be affected slightly by what you're going to get from uh, that burrito tone versus one piece. Let's put the camera back down. But as you look through the boots, you can spot areas where the boot has more volume, less volume, where it tapers and runs out for different areas, depending on Mussy, Messi's, Mussy, who is Mussy? Messi's foot shape and what he wants. Quickly backtracking, this is something I was looking for earlier and I couldn't quite see it to say it at the time. So let's get this camera to focus. And this middle stud here has the Messi logo in the middle of it, that's so cool. Just a, it's a tiny little touch. It's just the messy logo in that center stud. I was trying to find it earlier while I was talking, but I couldn't see it. So just had a look there, and there we have it. I don't want to gloss over too much, but there's loads to talk about. So we're just going to quickly mention uh, the graphics on the outside, the personalization. You got Messi's family, as you would expect, printed on the heel of both boots on the medial side. Um, and that's that's about it, aside from the 10 and the Argentina flag that you find and you spot those on every single pair of Messi boots. It's cool, it's a good identification marker for them being genuine messy boots, but we move on. I do want to get to the heel because it's really different and really cool. Uh, but let's stick with the upper just for the moment uh, because the texturing is also different. It's the same on both of Messi's boots, um, but you get the speed flow, the classic, um, classic, speed flow is not a classic. It's not a speed flow, it's a speed portal. God damn it, James. The Speed Flow is an amazing boot. I really, really love the Speed Flow, and I feel like I've just written the Speed Portal out of my mind. I will continue. So, Speed Portal um, had this texturing that runs down the medial side of the boot out onto the toe here, and it's fairly prevalent. Um, and then again, it's on the lateral side. It's not expected to do anything here, but it is there. Um, on the messy boot, it's kind of there. Starts here, and you definitely get that texture in the instep but then it fades out very quickly there is very little texture from this point onwards and it's disappeared by the time you get down to the toe pretty much you can feel it a little bit but that texture is just not as prevalent it's exactly the same on the lateral side but that's obviously because it doesn't actually make any difference to touch uh, but yeah that texture not there on either of the boots. And then the material overall, sticking with the upper, these boots are so custom, it's amazing. Um, you've got this, it's it's still synthetic, which is another reason that I think that these are prototypes given to Messi to try while they try and get him to, to try a more retail style uh, speed portal. Because uh, Messi doesn't use a synthetic like this. I don't remember ever seeing Messi use a synthetic like this on custom boots. Um, he has like a leather. Um, I'm not sure. I have to look at it. It's either leather or it's a leather-like synthetic. Uh, kind of like the um, the hybrid touch. But very specific to him. Um, he doesn't use this kind of synthetic. So again, I think this is Alas giving him something off a new boot trying to see if he likes it, trying to see if he wants to use it or if they're going to go back to what he had. So anyway, you got this synthetic, but it is still different. I feel like the synthetic is possibly similar. It's possibly the same in actual fact. Um, however, the liner is without question different. Um, so I'm hoping you can see it. You can see the circles here. These circles that run all the way through the boot that is where you can see through the upper to the liner um, and then if you put your hands in you can feel those cutouts in the liner and here uh, you don't have that it's a completely different liner on the boot it leads to a completely different feel and even though i actually think the synthetic is the same um, it's a lot softer on these messy ones maybe they should have put that liner on the retail version uh yeah nah these uh much softer but still not a messy upper um to any of my knowledge whatsoever uh there's no extra lace holes either just noticing that uh lacing system on let's look at this one still the same still the lace hole at the top still the same lace hole at the top nothing particularly groundbreaking about that and of course the system is entirely different for the burrito style tongue with the little lace loop there just to hold everything together right let's talk heel so uh, let's start let's just have a quick look at the retail variation 
um, and what the heel looks like in those. So that is the heel in the retail variation, just there. Um, it's fairly standard, two pillows into the back of your heel with a external heel counter. And yeah, pretty standard where your heel counter comes up to. Yeah, nothing to be said. Uh, let's look at the pair. With, so this is the boot with the standard lacing because it has, as far as I can see, the same or a very, very similar heel padding and heel construction. The heel construction is the same bend at the top. It's the same internal heel counter up to here. And it's the same external heel counter around the sides. There's, I think that that heel is fundamentally the same as the heel in the retail variation. Now, if we take a look at the heavily customized pair, the more I'm looking at this, the more I'm like, they've sent him this pair and asked him to try them, knowing that they've got a few changes to make. And this is like, this is the alternative. It's just kind of stages of, stages of get messy getting what he wants. Um, but as far as I know, he didn't go for any of these. Um, he went for his classic design uh, from what I can see. So you see here, let's get the two together. And um, we've got, you can see immediately that the padding runs right up to the top of the boot. This is more traditional, more what you'd expect from Messi. And then the padding is not those pillows. There's a lot of padding up around the ankle area. That's gonna sit just under the ankle bone. And then underneath that, you've got slim to no padding. That's gonna allow his ankle to just, or his uh, heel, sorry, to just sit all the way back. There's very, very little padding uh, in that area. It's totally different. Um, padding moved all the way up all the way into this area here and then nothing through there it's pretty stiff too um the external heel counter is still there and still operates as normal but the internal section is higher yes is definitely higher and it is overall a stiffer material up at this top point here so this top point is stiffer material and then the actual internal heel counter runs higher up than you would expect. So he's obviously looking for a lot of structure and support in the heel, but not necessarily from a lot of cushioning or padding. He wants to feel very locked in. And I suppose if somebody's shaping a boot to the exact shape of your heel, you can afford to go with less padding because it's going to fit you. So I'm going like full Sherlock Holmes at a crime scene here, uh, trying to uh, find differences between the messy boots, the retail boots, just find things that this does differently or is different to anything at all. Now, and one thing I kind of caught my eye and I think, in fact, I'm very certain I'm correct because I handily and happily, I have this. Um, <laughs> yeah, it's just a sole plate. This is a Gamba Trax plate. Um, so it's not on any boot. I bought it like this to put onto a boot. But this is a Gamba Trax plate. Uh, let's stick this back on top. So that one there, again, we're pretty much matching up stud for stud, apart from the middle stud. So this middle stud here, mine is this kind of bigger triangular stud, and there's just this small poke stud for Messi here but that's normal that's that's just what happens that is that and then the front studs here mine are pretty flat pretty straight up and pretty just straightforward conical these absolutely not these angle forwards I don't know if you can see it like look at the angle on those those angle forwards and there's like a shaved angle on them. You'd think they'd been worn, but they obviously haven't if you look at them. Whereas this Gamba Trax plate is perfectly straight, pretty much. Uh, what about the other boot? Yeah, they're both doing the same thing. These both angle forwards, which my Gamba Trax plate does not do. So that's another little difference there. I'm more interested in... Oh, hold on. That's the opposite way around as well. We're gonna, we're gonna be here all day. So this stud has the flat on the outside and this stud has the point. Nah, I'm an idiot. They're just the other way around. 
ignore that bit, continue on. I'm just getting excited for no reason. <laughs> you can obviously say the support bars are different, but that's just style of boot. Like that's literally them trying to match the uh, speed portal outsole as much as possible visually rather than using the more old style um, Gamba Tracks style of plate that you got on the earlier messy Nemesis variations. Different color studs in the middle. Is that interesting? Am I running out of things yet? <laughs> okay, I think that's all the differences. If you spotted any others, let me know down in the comments. Another massive shout to Boots Plug for just being amazing and letting me borrow these. But that is by far one of the coolest things that has ever, ever been on this channel. Thank you so much, Boots Plug, and these are class. Any questions, down in the comments.